Welcome to WB Mason Post Game Extra exclusively on SNY.TV. Exciting afternoon at City Field Sunday afternoon. The Mets beat the Padres 5-1. to one. The big story, Stephen Matz took a no-hit bid to one out in the eighth inning before he gave up his only hit of the afternoon to Alexi Ramirez. And that was a line drive, a kind of a hard-hit ball down the right field line, right over the bag. Uh, real uh, unfortunate. It was just a brilliant game by him. He only walked two batters. He walked the first batter in the ball game, and then he just had a, a series of consecutive uh, outs. He pitched brilliant, had a good down breaking ball. This is the second game in a row I've seen him now with that hard breaking ball. And if he keeps on pitching like that, he's going to wear that number 32 that John Matlack wore very nicely for the Mets for years to come. After his last start, he came to me and he said, look, I really needed that. I needed to be lengthened out a little bit. And he said, I need to get some better rhythm. And so, did it help? Maybe. I don't know. He, only he can answer that. But he was, you know, after the first hitter, he was outstanding. Just made every pitch he had to make. He started to get tired, obviously, in the, you know, in the heat and the pitch counts. But he was really good I really focused. I think it's good when you can get deep into games because that's, you know, you get a little tired and you, you got to work on things a little bit more. So um, you got to be, you know, have better command of your pitches because you're not going to have the extra life you do early on. So I think that does help you a lot. He works quick. Um, as players, it's hot as can be out there. So uh, we like what we're seeing from him. Um, you know, we're, we're watching we're watching a really good pitcher unfold in front of our eyes. But uh, today, in particular, he was he was really sharp and uh, kept us all involved in the game. We got some strikeouts. And that was great, man. You know, just to see him throw the ball the way that, that he threw today that was amazing. You know, hopefully he he takes something from. The star and continue to, to pitch the way that he pitched today. That was good. That's got a couple of early home runs from Wilmer Flores and Neil Walker before they broke the game open in the eighth. T.J. Rivera gets his first two RBIs of his young major league career. A double down the left field line. That really was the insurance runs of the ball game late. I think it was the eight, bottom of the eighth inning. Made it 4 nothing, And the Mets go on to win 5-1. to one. They only got f- uh, five hits, but they made them all count. It's just kind of, I guess, a testament to the work we put in in spring training and, uh, you know, the, the things I wanted to, um, you know, change and accomplish, uh, especially from that side. And um, I've, I've stuck to, to what, what is, uh, what's worked. I'm just trying not to do too much, you know. I'm trying to just, um, you know, you come to a new environment with uh, guys you hadn't played with, you know, before. Uh, you want to prove yourself. You want to, you know, say you belong and show you belong. So my goal is just not try to do too much and play my game and uh, you know just go out there and compete and have fun. So the Mets take two or three from San Diego. They win back to back games for the first time since the first week in July. Now they go to Arizona to start a 10 game road trip on Monday night. Bartolo Colon on the mound. Our coverage begins at 8.30 with Cadillac first pitch Monday night on SNY. That'll do it for WBMA a post game extra. Be sure to join us after every game for exclusive coverage on SNY.TV.